picture this you're fighting with your partner and the tension is rising between you and then all of a sudden you notice a spark of anger in their eyes and kaboom a massive fight erupts now you've been here before and you know how these kind of fights end usually in icy cold silences with one of you sleeping on the couch and leaving a crater of hurt that could take weeks to recover from hi I'm Bruce Music and I'm a relationship coach and I help couples to stop fighting start connecting and turn their marriages and relationships around and in this video we're gonna learn four counterintuitive strategies to stop any fight from exploding into a volcanic like eruption and actually resolve the conflict any place anytime a big promise I know and I've road tested all four of these strategies in my relationship coaching practice so I know that they work here's strategy number one imagine you're in a boxing ring and your opponent is throwing punches at you left right and center what do you do well you block and you duck and you defend yourself and whenever you get an opportunity you throw a couple of punches back and they block and defend themselves and you go backwards and forth trading punches when you're defending you're inviting them to attack and throw punches when you're attacking you're inviting them to defend and what most people don't see is that defense and attack are two sides of the same coin and as long as you're defending yourself you're inviting an attack and as long as you're attacking you're inviting your opponent to defend themselves the only way to stop a fight is to actually step out of the ring completely try this instead instead of fighting be defenseless you're actually inviting conflict in by defending yourself so here's an easy way to be defenseless find something you can agree with your partner about find something in what they've said that you can agree with so you might hypothetically say to them something like yes honey you're right I did leave the car headlights on and the battery is flat when they're yelling at you about leaving the battery the lights on in the car this is going to completely catch them off guard and interrupt that pattern of attack defend attack defend attack defend it'll also soothe your partner and calm them down knowing that you're not defending that you're actually agreeing with them but Bruce I hear you cry what if I can't find something to agree with well then you're gonna try strategy number two strategy number two is to demonstrate that you're listening you see we human beings have an almost primal need to feel heard and understood and half the time your partner's upset they're just wanting you to listen to them they just want you to hear them so that they can feel that you understand them and you care about what they're saying so try this strategy to make your partner feel heard and understood when they're talking with you in an upset tone of voice instead of defending yourself repeat back to them what they actually said so you might say something like so what I'm hearing you saying honey is that I left the lights on and the car battery's flat and now you're gonna be late for work did I get it notice at the end I put the word that or the phrase did I get it I did this because I want to confirm that I've actually understood what my partner says it shows them how much I really want to understand what they're saying and it's almost a sign of respect and calms down that reptilian part of their brain that might be about to get triggered when they hear you say did I get it they know that they're gonna have an opportunity to speak and you're just going to listen you're not gonna be defending it's a great way to de-escalate conflict try it it works like magic I'll teach you an even more advanced version of this tool in my love at first fight coaching program which I'll tell you more about at the end of this video now strategy number three is to take ownership of the situation and apologize for your part in it right you did leave the car headlights on didn't you yeah you did right and you did make your partner late for work yeah you have right so you might say something like you're right honey I did leave the car headlights on and I have made you late for work and I'm really sorry you see how that works you can't argue with that right that's the power of a simple heartfelt apology and taking responsibility for your part in what you've created okay here's our fourth and final strategy to stop any fight dead in its tracks and it's this it's called stand together and attack the misunderstanding you see what most couples do is they stand against each other and attack each other most fights are just the result of a misunderstanding usually it's a misunderstanding about your partner's intention or each other's intentions or a misunderstanding about what's actually happened because of misinformation or incomplete information 
When you stand together and attack the misunderstanding over there, it unites the two of you instead of standing opposite each other and attacking each other. See how different that is? Here's how you do it. You can use several strategies. One of my favorite ones is actually stand next to your partner with your partner next to you rather than standing opposite them because that position of being opposite is almost confrontational. If you stand side by side, it's almost like the two of you are gazing out at the misunderstanding, ready to attack it as a team. And it actually unites you. Another thing you can do is you can start using we language. So you might say something like, wow, we've really got ourselves into a pickle here. I'm sorry, honey, I did leave uh, the car lights on. How can we resolve this? Would it be okay if I call the cab for you to get you on work on time and then I could pick you up after work and we could drive home together? We language is the language of unity. It's the language of a team. It's the language of a couple. It's the language of love. So start using we language that unites the two of you together. And then finally, you can address the misunderstanding. And you know, very often when your partner's upset, they're assuming that you've done something intentionally to hurt them. So in this case, you might say to them, you know, honey, and the misunderstanding is I really wasn't, you know, trying to make you late on purpose. And I, I wasn't being careless. I was just, I was so excited about seeing you when I got home last night and I was late and I wanted to make sure that I caught you before you fell asleep. So I literally turned off the car, but forgot to turn the lights off, ran upstairs to give you a big kiss and then fell asleep in your arms. And I'm sorry, I just wanted to let you know that I loved you and I left the lights on because I fell asleep in your arms. I'm really sorry. What's your partner going to say to that? It's not like they're going to start attacking you for loving them so much that you wanted to kiss them goodnight, is it? So when you unpack the misunderstanding and attack it together, when the two of you are standing united next to each other, committed to finding the misunderstanding and attacking it, there'll be no more conflict between you. Now go and take these four strategies into your relationship and use them to stop an argument from escalating into a full-blown fight. Now, as useful as these strategies are, they're not gonna fix your troubled relationship for you. They're just strategies for the heat of the moment. If you're walking on eggshells around your partner or if there's a constant tension in your relationship or you're experiencing a fuzzy communication problem or perhaps one of you is withdrawing and the other one's chasing and becoming needy and the other one's withdrawing into their shell, then you really do need to seek professional help. So if you're ready to end the cycle of conflict in your relationship, I can help. I've designed a seven week online training program that's designed to help you fix your troubled relationship and get the two of you on the road to a new life together. It's worked for hundreds of couples and I know it'll work for you. So if you know you need help and you're ready to reach out and stop making the same mistakes over and over again, click on the link here and you can check out the program. We've got one starting soon and I look forward to meeting you and helping you turn your marriage or relationship around. I'm Bruce Music. I wish you an open-hearted, loving, delicious relationship. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.